I need to give my thoughts on iOS 14 that just rolled out for beta testers. I'm not one of them, but as you can see, uh, maybe it looks like it. And anyway, I want to share my few thoughts about what iOS 14 actually borrowed from the jailbreak community and also from other operating systems. Now, don't get me wrong, iOS is an operating system of my choice and uh, probably I'm never gonna leave it, but I have to show my thoughts that iOS 14 is not that big of a deal for me. Although it has many internal options which really, uh, you know, create this feel that it's a big update, but I don't think so. So the first thing that they announced was widgets on your home screen. As you can see, I already have it. So this idea, uh, I'm not saying it's borrowed from jailbreak community, but it was facilitated and made it easier for them to implement. I, this is my opinion. Thanks to the Velox Reloaded Tweak, which now can retire because uh, when Apple introduces this, nobody will uh, bother to buy this tweak. Another big innovation that iOS 14 announced was the unintrusive phone calls. So it kind of resembles, right, the uh, call bar 10s, right? So I would say that they pretty much took the idea from either jailbreak community and uh, other operating systems. Again, I'm stressing. My feeling is that, you know, le uh, level of innovation with Apple is declining. But also, I have to give them that. Uh, they are accepting jailbreak community. They're not forbidding it. It's, it's not against the law to jailbreak a device. However, they kind of try to suppress it. On the other hand, it's not completely, it's not illegal because, again, this is my own point of view, because they gather a lot of inspiration from the jailbreak community. Remember the control center, it didn't work, it didn't exist before in Telescreen X long time ago. And, uh, you know, uh, removing the uh, uh, touch, uh, sorry, removing the home button. When did it appear? I remember I had iPhone 4 and I had a tweak called Zephyr, which actually did this. It removed the need for you to use this. So this is another point. And this is the call bar 10S. We also have another tweak. Um, I forgot the name now, but I'm going to put it in the description, which actually uh, uh, gives this unintrusive phone call. So you, you see when you have it like this, let's say, let me do it. So I'm going to invoke it by double tapping and you can see that it's this option right there. So when your phone, calls, phone call comes, you get this unintrusive or you can have it like this, the way now it looks in iOS 14. So you can all have these and I have to say this even looks better because you have many more functionalities to change and to, to, uh, to use. So this is the innovation number two. Another new thing which uh, Apple claims, uh, Apple presented on their WWDC yesterday was the fact that uh, they are introducing picture-in-picture -picture for all applications that uh, play videos. For me now, I only have, I only have uh, Netflix to show you on, but I'm not on iOS 14 and I still can do this. As you can see, I can have picture in picture without installing to or moving to iOS 14 and I can place it on different sides of the screen. And this is thanks to the newly released jailbreak tweak called Titan. Now I have to say, they coincide because Titan was released relatively recently. So I cannot say that this is actually thanks to Titan, but there are other tweaks like, uh, I don't know, PIP, UPIP and, and, other, and other tweaks which were developed before to do the same thing. So again, not very innovative. Next option that existed in some way in the jailbreak community and it's been used now, it's pinned conversation within messages. So this is the uh, tweak, for example, Iris, but there are others as well, which can give you this option to pin or unpin the conversation to the top. Okay, it doesn't give you the uh, functionality for inline conversations, replies, mentions, etc. But uh, at least this is not new. And plus this tweak, which gives you the option to sort your messages in different way. So again, this is one borrowed idea, according to me, in iOS 14. The fifth thing I found so far, and I'm gonna finish with this because these are for me the biggest changes in iOS 14 for now, 
is the compact design of Siri interface. So when you say, hey Siri, so they actually did something like this, but instead of this thing, they are using, they, they implemented it in the bottom uh, as, a, as a circle down here, if, if you saw it. So I'm gonna go and go to the small Siri uh, tweak, and you all probably know you can have it from top or from the bottom and uh, it looks basically like this. Hey Siri, see? Uh -huh. However, there is a little bug here, of course, but as I'm, all I'm saying here is that all these ideas presented in iOS 14, which are presented at the beginning of the iOS 14 event, they are not all so new to Android users for the first time, for, uh, for one thing, and for jailbreak community for the second. So I think Apple should step up their game and bring us something we really didn't see before. So my suggestion is for you guys to stick on uh, iOS 13.5 with jailbroken iPhone and enjoy your tweaks, which give you many more options instead of upgrading to iOS 14. Let me know in the comments which other uh, tweak you've seen recognized from the yesterday's WWDC event. And let me know if you would like to see a review of iOS 14. Thanks.